All right, we are down here at the bottom of, look at that, bottom of Beaver Falls. Once again, you've probably seen that on this channel before, because I've been down here a couple times. But anyway, we are enjoying uh, just a little time with my buddy Paul and his kiddos, and then also some of our crew. They're actually all the way down the river. I think they're looking for Sasquatch, I'm pretty sure. Is that what they're looking for? They wanted to get to the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they did. Yeah. They made it. I want to see though, are their feet wet? Probably. My guess is their feet, their feet are wet. So that's what I'm going for. Hey Damon, <laughs> do you know that I have a YouTube channel? No. I do. See? Look, I know what I'm doing. Look at that. <laughs> right there. This is Damon. Say hi. Hi. So what do you think? All right. Exciting. Yep. <laughs> hey, uh, you have to, though, report to us what you just saw over here. Okay. What was this? So, first hand report. Up around the side. And we were like, let's go behind the waterfall. Yep. And then, right as we were saying that, a bunch of big rocks fell and made a super loud <sighs> right by where we were gonna go. And they're like, maybe not. So then we came back. It happened like right back there. Okay. See, this is an instructional video of where you guys are going at all moments, all times. So anyway, that's why we're uh, yes. But glad to have you here. A uh, friend of my son's from college. So good, good time. And this is Brianna, say hi. Hey y'all. Got my buddy Paul here. Great, great photographer, one of the best I know, probably the best, and I want to uh, pick his brain as to the best tips for getting that perfect uh, portrait. Today we have the example of a outside, uh, what do they call that? Waterfall. Water, well, yeah, but a outside portrait. Uh, what are they, anyway, without further ado, Let's uh, let's talk and see. Get his first tip as to getting the best portraits uh, that you can. Here you go. Well, since we're doing landscapes, just saying. Landscapes. That was landscapes. it. Landscapes. That was the word. It's like a fancy word. But yeah. Not. Yeah. The biggest thing is a tripod. You got to have a tripod that will hold stable. Because if you don't have that, then you've got a long exposure. It's not going to happen. Especially when you've got an expensive camera and your favorite expensive lens. You don't want that falling in the water or falling over. So tripod is number one. Okay, wait, what are your top three tips on getting the best um, portrait? Because then we'll compare them to your dad. Go. Don't have your photo taken by your dad. Oh. Um, <laughs> don't smile because it's never going to look good. <laughs> <laughs> and shave off all your hair because hair is too much work and then it always looks crazy. Those might be the best, best tips I've ever heard. Best tips ever? Best ever. <laughs> Number two is have the right lens. Um, if you're doing landscapes, it doesn't always need to be super wide, but have it wide enough that it captures what you're going for. So for this one, I'm shooting with a 63. Um, so that would be equivalent on full frame to uh, a 50. And you just want it to frame up what you're looking at. Have some snacks with you. Now, does that really help your camera? Not at all. But if you're uncomfortable and not having any fun, it's gonna suck. So uh, those would be my three biggest tips. Tripod, the right lens, and snacks. All right, so here's the question. What did you bring as a snack then? I brought two things. I brought a Luna bar and I brought uh, juice boxes because I'm a type one diabetic and I always got to pay attention. All right, he actually had an answer. That didn't count. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be like, well, nothing, but okay. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, thank you for those tips. That was very helpful, hopefully. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Hey, you made an appearance 
on dun, dun, dun. the YouTube channel of the century. I think so. this is the second appearance. Is it? Uh, remember when you did some behind the scenes video stuff? Oh yeah, that's right. Remember that? That's right, yeah. I did. That and was, uh, it was pretty epic. Yeah, so. Video looked good, just yeah. saying. It was pretty good, yeah. pretty good. All right, well good. Take Sweet. care, thanks We're for doing this. we another one. Okay. I was gonna mention that uh, we gotta point that out. The uh, bad hair day. So. Oh look, they made it. They made it. So I had an epic fail. I recorded this once before and you're never gonna see that. However, I feel like I saw this and it was working, but this is just my second. We'll, we'll try this. Um, but I need to give my pointers. If I was to become or give my tips on how to do a landscape photography photo, these are the tips I would give you. First, I would um, get, get a camera that can take a picture of the thing you want to take a picture of. The second would be get an iPhone. I mean, honestly, right now, outside of an iPhone, like that's probably your best bet. And then third, watch this channel for more tips on how you can take the best picture ever because really, this is the channel you wanna to come to for all of your tips and tricks. Is this correct? Absolutely, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, all right, onward and upward. Thank you guys for joining us on this one and we'll see you on the next one, maybe in a month or so. We'll see you. <laughs>